Greeting, this is Frida Riamentra, and happy Pancake Day. Today I'm going to do uh, an impromptu uh, reaction to an older video on uh, the Critical Role did on the Gigi Sunday channel, where the, the cast of Critical Role apparently go uh, try to solve an escape room. Impromptu. Warning, I will be pausing at some bar point during this to go uh, leave uh, try to leave a certain comment on on uh, the uh, on campaign 3 episode 35's uh, YouTube release which is happening in about a quarter a quarter hour from now a less a little less so of course by when by the time you see this I'll already be out. Go watch. Yeah, we're... Okay. I'll use the over this. A show where we take celebrities... Oh, once again, I have to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's still the <laughs> Good. Lock them in a room and force them to solve complex puzzles in order to escape before time runs out. What are the stakes? Well, failing to escape will put an intergalactic price on their heads, but success will make them the rulers of their own planet. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> Welcome our guests. Now, you might also know him as McCree from Overwatch or Levi from Attack on Titan. Please welcome Matt Mercer. Jumping Matt in. Matt Mercer. That's, <laughs> that's, not that's not a, my intro music. That's not a theme. Uh, Matthew Mercer and uh, voice actor, Dungeon Master for Critical Role. Hey, I'm glad I have one at least. Uh, welcome in. Thank you. I've heard stories from friends and such, but I've only done one uh, escape room challenge that was a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. You don't want to be stuck just with me, done. right? You probably want me to bring you out some of your teammates. If possible. Not that I don't I believe know. in your ability, Listen, but I'd prefer. None taken. Uh, she is Margaret from Persona and host of Superpower Beatdown. Please welcome Marisha Ray. Woo! Marisha Ray. Woo! Marisha Ray. You thought it was just for you. It's I not. Know, this I is, feel uh, this That's is okay. a theme. Hello, my name is Marisha Ray, and you might know me from Geek and Sundry's Critical Role. Thanks for coming. Nice I, to see you. Thanks. Ya. I'm here. It's early. Well, you're on uh, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Japanese time. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Sure, sure, sure. I've actually done one escape room to date. It was serial killer themed, and we got so close. Now, listen, I'm going to bring them both out at once. They're voice actors you might know from Halo 5 Guardians, Avengers Assemble, and tons more. Please welcome Laura Bailey and Travis Willingham. The happy couple. Laura Bailey. Yes, Travis yes, Willingham. Yes, yes. Oh. I am Laura Bailey, I'm a voice and actress, and I'm on Critical married. Role, which you, know, you guys know about. Like me, you probably get stuck in the back of all photos yeah, so totally. that people never see what your body Last looks like. They just see a floating yeah. head in the background yeah. of a tall person. Uh, my name is Travis Willingham. I'm a member of the Critical Role D&D show on Geek and Sundry's Twitch channel. I have never done any kind of room escape before. I have no experience whatsoever, so I have... No idea what to expect. Now we just got some loose clown who's along for the ride. <laughs> He's one of my favorite people on the planet, although I'm not sure why. He's an actor, you know him from Dragon Ball Z. Please welcome Christopher Sabin. Yeah. Christopher Sabin. Yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you, Christopher Sabat. Good, good, good. good, good. <laughs> I am Christopher Sabat, and I'm known for, I guess, mostly my work on Dragon Ball Z. I'm the voice of Vegeta. Thanks for piggybacking. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, you know, I'm the biggest fan of Critical Role. I've seen all of their episodes. <laughs> uh -huh. so, yeah. You haven't seen a single episode. I'm, I'm, I'm going to catch up one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to binge it. You know, looking at the team, I'm probably the strongest easily. I will say about Chris, he is one of the warmest, most sincere. He's that's like where the kind of person that's yeah. just so cuddly and Thank wonderful. Thank you. You know, mentally, uh, I mean, look at them. Do you guys want to know what uh, you're looking at? Where you're going to be? Yes, yes please. Yes. And what your background is. I'm mythology. so nervous. Tell us. You're magicians who find yourself in the study of the evil sorcerer. You know, the evil sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Like you do. Mm -hmm. Generic fantasy tale. Yeah. Um, and uh, and you guys need to work together to get out of the room. Uh, and you need to, let's see, one was that you grasp and cast the spell to banish him. That was a real okay. tongue twister. Yeah, well done. No, okay. I think it's right. a These guys are VO yeah. actors, so yeah. you can handle it. I have never done VO. Cast. Cast. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. About to banish the evil yeah. sorcerer. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I think that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to take you into your uh, wonderful oh, sorcerer's man. lair. All right. Just uh, follow me, shall yeah. we? Yay. Yay. Oh, boy. No song is relief. No, I thought we were going to get a theme yeah. song. As well. It's yeah. our theme song. Probably a good place to hang to kind of take everything in, oh. right? And um, that's it. I wish I could stay in here with you because this is my favorite Come room on. ever. No, but okay, instead, no, I'm gonna no, say, no, no, no. time starts now. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, what do we do? This looks like Laura's bathroom. I found a rabbit split. Uh, okay. <laughs> My first thoughts walking into that room were, okay, this is my bailiwick. This is my realm of expertise. This room is so cool. I'm hoping that they can like save the set. I kind of want those wall sconces. Well, the first thing that hits me is, wait a minute, what am I supposed to be doing in here? I am instantly confused about where to start. Okay, you guys. Do we? Okay, so. Is there something that's gonna happen? So that oh. those rooms wait, are no, alphabetical. Wait, these are there's, alphabetical. Wait, there's little things. That means there's probably cards or something that go in here. Okay, okay. good call. There's a giant wood structure. I see tablets of stone with runes. There's a million different potions. <laughs> I mean, the potions uh, alone, all the ingredients, a little overwhelming, but so freaking cool. Can I just live there? I just want to live in the room. Uh, uh, here's a deck of cards. There. Oh yeah, where? Marisha found the tarot cards. They're tarot cards. There's also a quill. <laughs> tarot cards over here as well. But I stole them from her very quickly because apparently I do that. Well, okay, wait, I'm gonna look at see if I can find uh, special, they're numbered. Freaking sword, there's, so, oh, there's Roman numerals on this table. Okay, I'm gonna translate the, the alphabet and that message that's on the right hand side. Travis immediately says, I'm gonna solve this. There's three different slabs that have got little numbers under them and then one that I'm like, okay, clearly we have to decipher this thing. So I start looking for something to write with and I find a piece of parchment and a little a little quill pen and start running back and forth trying to decode the message. The first one isn't even here! Are you, have you finished this? No, I'm just looking okay. for the first stupid symbol! Thanks. Uh, corresponding letters. I'm gonna look, oh, look at okay. things on the shelf. The first thing I pick up is, oh, I found a names. menu for TGI Fridays. This menu that has the potions in it, and they, none, nothing makes sense. Have we looked at this yet? I Have we looked at this? Oh, yes. okay, what's this? H, that's an H. Gift of flight, gun sword shrimps. These are different, different potions, possibly? I cannot imagine that all of these are gonna be useful. Gift Gifts of, of gold. gold. Frigid fancy. I'm probably only looking for like one or two, aren't I? Yeah. I said burr. It's cold in here. And I think half of them are there, are there just to make me look stupid. <laughs> there must be some Toros in this the end. I can't believe actually, you just went to bring it on. <laughs> I think the bring it on spell was just, um, just to make us look like really cool. <laughs> you know, I mean, if nothing else, then at least we've got that. Uh, I swear, you guys, I'm so lost. I have yeah, no I mean, idea like, what, what are we even supposed to be doing here? Are we I'm, I'm figuring out that message that I'm actually... Wait, we're trying, trying to back. gather, Bye. we're trying to cast this... Spell? Do you have a banishment spell somewhere? So we're trying to see here. So I'm have... looking, okay. There are a lot of spells. There's the spell book. There's the little the little sheets of paper that have spells on them. Here, let's uh... Exploding potion? For now, let's put these out here. See, we can make some of these. We can but... make an exploding potion. Let's look. I immediately start thinking I can make an exploding spell, a potion, 
that will get us out of the room, like, no problem. So I start looking for ingredients to make an exploding potion, which is probably the wrong idea. Garlic. The magician. One head of garlic. There's probably a magician in here. The magician is the first part of this thing. The magician, okay. Wow, Travis. Yes. You're on top of it. One there will garlic. be a magician in here. And as he starts saying the words, he says magician, and we realize, that's that's one of the tarot cards. So I'm gonna try and separate those out. That way, as soon as we have this riddle done, hopefully we won't be searching through okay. an entire deck of cards. This is gonna be the greatest here. moment of my life. Wow. Is, is there a head of garlic over there? But you're just gonna make a random spell. It's huh? an exploding one, it'll okay. get us out of here. Okay, cool. <laughs> there are numbers? Head of garlic? Sounds yeah, we got dangerous. numbers as well. What kind of an asshole puts numbers with runes? Okay. Put it in the dryer. Oh. Sure oh. Here's uh, a, what is G this, you guys? H. Box? This has a little, this Box? does that. That does that. Hey, Box? that does that? That looks important, right? Yeah, there's another thing that should do that, but you can't pull it out. Oh, um, you're right. Fought? You're yeah. right. Maybe. We'll put it over there. Is maybe, that a font? You know, maybe next to it. <laughs> Wait, is there anything on the bottom of that, Chris? Look on the other part. Wait, Elixir no. 7. Sought. <laughs> You, what do you have Elixir so far? Seven. The magician saw it. I have a feeling like what Travis magician. is doing right here is probably the most mm -hmm. important thing because it seems like it's the the start. Well, he's got oh, the, that the theme going. of this. Here's the, the magician. The magician saw it. Okay. What do you need? When we hear the announcement that we only have 25 minutes left, that is when my stomach sinks very heavily. Uh, we haven't done we haven't shit. Done anything. We have not done anything. Uh, that, uh, that that is when I realized we might be in trouble. What if we all just <laughs> die right now? Guys, let's help Travis do this. What is he doing? Like the, uh, B. What is, what's a K? So Find me a K. Oh, this is a K. Okay, a K? Yeah, a K symbol. Okay, K okay. K symbol so is, uh, spell. K symbol is an I. I. What's the next one? I have no uh, I've got it, U, S, blah. This is a, T. I think that's a T. And then Marisha finds these spells that are, you know, singing, and so we start uh. chanting. This one Loretta is... Stupificus. Uh, oh, Loretta Stupificus. Loretta Stupificus. Loretta Stupificus. That's got to mean, like, I'm really stupid in Latin that you made us repeat over and over again. Loretta Stupificus. It's going to live forever on the internet. Loretta <laughs> Stupificus. Loretta <laughs> Stupificus. Oh, there it is. It's a, yeah. That's cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Is this just a spell to make us look stupid? <sighs> what do we have so I far? Think I think that's ju it the justice. Okay, justice. Right. 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 The, music, right. the magician saw justice. Okay, so I'm guessing some N, of right? these potions are just our our red hair. This quill is no. dying. It's magically hair. losing. <laughs> <laughs> Potion of fog dancing. Yeah, Come back to I got it. I got it. I got it. Got it. Uh, okay, next one. The magician saw justice one, on or three, in. Seven, three. Something. Then three. A match story or one to its former might. One must have. Okay. Guys, we're so pushing to 20 minutes. Light. We reached a point where we had been kind of running around, floundering. We found a lot of pieces to things that we didn't quite know how they fit together. You're taking so long on the very first clue. We need to have the helping hand. Okay. We're, should we get a, a little bit here? Do you want to go ahead and uh, try and at least get a helping hand to maybe get yeah, us you the right you? path? Knowing that we could continue to do this for the next 15 minutes if we aren't careful, I think we all begin to realize that it's best to just use this helping hand now. Helping hand! Okay, wizard wannabes, here's your rhyming helping hand. So you're stuck and need a boon? Just focus your efforts on the runes. You're welcome. No! Oh was my it god, w we here? Travis, is it w? Cuz this is the Oh, w. That would, that would make sense. Okay, tower. It is tower. Yeah. The magician saw justice tower. in the tower. Okay, so put put the magician the magician. Okay. Okay. Uh, so put the magician the 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 based on the order they are. But but yeah, the magician saw justice in the tower, but he's trying to figure out the the buts and the does in between and I don't care about any of that. I just want the last tarot card. What's the last word? What's the last word? We don't, oh, we've got two more words. No, no, no! Skip to the last word, because that's probably what the last tarot card is. So D. Oh, is he doing the last word? Is this one right here? Yeah. D, okay. And the H one is an E. Correct. And then, it's like, the, the, it's the like a pie symbol. And then I've, the, I've uh, drawn these, so that is a uh, A. A. What's the last what word? What is that word and what's it looking like? That's a T, death, it's death, I think. The magician sought justice in the tower, but found only death. Death, death. I have no idea what that means. Uh, there's another deck, there's another deck. Hang, Hang on. Refreshing.
Okay. Uh, pausing. Hang on. There is? I don't know why there's, a, I don't know why there's two decks. I'll take it here. Death, got it. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what do I see in this amazing crystal ball? It just, it's it's got to be found, right? It's got to be found. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it, it oh. just it's oh, turned blue. it's doing something. The crystal ball lights up. Matt starts reading it. Hold right here. It says, oh, F. shit. I start trying to push his head out of the way so I can see the words. Because apparently I do that. F. Oh, no. Topi what? Topi Okay, awesome. that makes lots of sense. Yep. It's a cool message, and it reads like Latin, but uh, within a brief second, I realize that it's an anagram, and we need to try and figure out what these letters make up. Great. Wait, uh, is it backwards or backwards? The potion of... Uh, the potion of what sick. potion? A U P I E S C N S. We have to. A U P. What about this? A U P I E S C N S. We immediately had to just shout out the letters and try and figure out what the actual phrasing was. Hopefully. A U P I. Are you That's sure, you guys? That's yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Those it's, the letters that are there. It's a out anagram. These letters make a spell. Wait, 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 wait. is it this? The the cordification? But it's not, but purification isn't, there's no F in this. The, okay, T-H-E, let's just uh, rearrange the words. It's E-T-H, so it's T-H-E. That's it, potion of, give us yours. The potion, is this a pen? Uh, Gain might to wrench from stone. We find this list of ingredients to make a potion. A mixing dust of funny bone. It's supposed to make us strong so we can pull the sword out from the stone. Dust of funny bone. What else do we need? I look for this for my moon. Uh, a sorrow of a fiery beast, sorrow. an essence of a spider's feast. Okay, sorrow here's the fiery, fiery, here's dragon's breath. All right. Um, wait, some... Drops of water, sorrow Spice of what? Spider's feast. Uh, let's see, sorrow drops of water, of undead's bane, so holy water. I'm glad that Matt is here because he's really good at interpreting kind of what a lot of these sentences even mean. Flies Leech juice, deep. snake fangs. Let's see if anyone finds holy water. No, wait, 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 wait. There's uh, water. There's water? Moonshine. Yeah, can we like bless it? What about water? Deep blackened sea night's stain. Octopus ink. Octopus ink. There we yeah. go. Mind of beast lacking haste. We're just trying to make sense of what goes where and in what, what is order. Pearl? And it's chaos. Like a sloth? Yeah. A, sl a slow creature. Or a slug? I'm starting to figure out that this potion is going to be a huge pain in my ass. Sloth brain. Slug is possible. Sloth brain. Sloth brain. Sloth brain. Perfect. And a touch of something sweet for taste. Peppermint? Mm. Sugar. Let's see. Peppermint That's should sweet. work. Yeah. Oh, Acridness to curl the tongue. To acid? Leech juice? What's, what does that mean? Acrid what? Acrid. What does acrid mean? Acridness to curl the tongue. Oh, Acridness, acrid, acrid means, yes. um, uh, acrid. Uh, sour? Castor sour oil, maybe? Better, maybe. Sorry, Castor oil could work, actually. Okay. The finishing touch okay. must be sung. Where, where's the funny bone dust? Bat wing powdered. Oh, ground humorous. Oh, oh, there God. we go. Okay, so we start, you want to start mixing them up? Yeah, mix a little bit into each one. Okay, well, tell wait, me wait, what. Wait, wait, wait. Did we also get the spider's funny bone? Okay. Down there. Spider's feast. What's next? Or whatever. Uh, so dragon's breath. The What's funny it? bone. The dragon's breath just went in. We have the spider's feast now, which would be the, uh, the spicy what? flies. Yeah. Or like bugs. Yeah, it's gonna be something buggy. Oh, what about this? Coagulated blood of flies. There you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, that, 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 that. Coagulated blood of flies. I'm putting that in there. Ingredients. Pretty nasty. I hope we don't have to drink this. Mm, it looks pretty tasty, actually. Drops All right, of water. water. Undead veins. Now water. Uh, the ink is next. The deeply blackened sea night stain. So put the Octopus ink in. This is ink. Mind of beast lacking haste. The sloth brain. Sloth brain. This is so foul looking. Oh, God. I feel like Tom <laughs> Cruise. You're going to eat this, Chris. A cocktail. Oh, yeah. Touch of something sweet for taste. Touch of something sweet. I'm putting in the peppermint. Is anything else? Okay. Is sweet. I, I'm, I'm nervous about the, the dragon's breath. A lot of the ingredients in these potions can be easily switched out for other ingredients, and that's making me really nervous. I I don't want to make this potion like 80 times. I really don't. This is the sorrow of a fiery beast. You want to ask for other, like, dragon's tears or anything? But, dragon's uh, tears are over there. Oh, uh, dragon's are? tears? Oh, oh, but that's no. dragon's tears dragon's in there. Tears. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we putting in need. dragon's tears. Dragon's tears, not dragon's, dragon's tears. Breath. All right. There's pond slime. Is that acridness? Acridness to curl the tongue. What is acridness? None of us have any idea what acrid means. Nasty. What is acrid? Is it acidy? Is it? It's acid, bitter, awful to the taste. Apparently, it means acidic. Hey. <laughs> Brilliant. What Siri, what's acridness mean? Where are we? What uh, else it would be? Acronymantula? What is that? What's... Or sardines or cod liver oil. Oh, oh I don't know. Uh, what, what, corn, corn clump juice, juice and pus. pus. Yeah. Uh, um, 
I don't know, <laughs> let's, guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and add the uh, Accurdantula or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Okay, adding uh, Acromantula to the Venom. And then we sing. Which one? Um, it's, it's supposed, to, where do you, oh, supposed to give a strength. Is there one in there touch. that says something about strength? Magic finishing many. touch must be sung. Must be sung. Sweat stagger. I'm all sweat down. I know what, what, we, what would we, does it have a, the finishing touch must, must be, be sung. sung. We cannot get too literal, but also we want to make sure we're literal enough to where we're not missing clues. Maybe it's sung. not literal. Hang on. Uh, that made me nervous. That's that. That makes me really nervous. Maybe it's another ingredient. Oh, song. We have vocal cords. I saw something out here that was uh, something. Maybe oh, it's ground vocal cords. It's just ground vocal cords. Got it. Thank you. It's <laughs> going in. It's going in. Ground vocal cords. Thank it's you. In, it's in. It's in. It's in. All right. Wait, no it should be working now. Who's gonna drink it? Uh, are we drinking it? I, I wasn't one hundred percent sure that someone was supposed to drink it. Do we have to drink it? We have to uh, to get someone to get the mic. If someone's gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do, do it. it. I'm watching Matt drink this. I'm like, I don't know if you're supposed to drink it. <laughs> Gross. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> he had to drink that. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> uh, All right, okay. okay. <laughs> oh, does that you just drank that for no Did reason, didn't you? Probably. Well, we'll see if it works Pull or not. Pull out the sword from the stone! Pull out. No. no! I think the thing that went wrong with this potion is, um, I have no idea. You're Which kidding. one? What are we making? We're running with a lack of It might be the ac acridness. Oh, I think we used maybe the wrong ingredient, one of the wrong ingredients. Maybe it was that acrid thing. We could Our public school educations are failing us! <laughs> hold this. Is vinegar? Actors are supposed to be smarter than this! We're gonna do vinegar. Adding, adding vinegar, vinegar to it. Oh, wow. We're adding vinegar. We added vinegar. Vinegar, vinegar. Matt and everybody that's been working on the potion, solve it. He's gonna drink it again! He's oh, drank it twice. That's terrifying. <laughs> Try it, Matt. He drinks it. Nothing happens. Invert it. Oh, oh, you're not yeah. Yeah. oh, oh my god. Is it because this we added things good. to it that shouldn't be in there? I haven't really been helping much at this point, so I start looking around the room for like secret doors and things that I can pull. The candlesticks, by the way, don't move. But I tried all of them. Oh, this smells so bad now. It's not not good. Uh, can we find an hourglass something? That's what we're looking for. We're pretty sure we have all the right ingredients. We put them together and we're trying this out, but it's still not working. We're really frustrated. Um, so I began to have to look at it even closer and try and see if there's something we're missing in the specific dialogue. Gain might. It's a mixing dust of funny bone, the sorrow of a fiery beast, the essence of a spider's feast. Drops of water, undead's bane, deep black and sea night stain. Drops of water, undead's bane. Did we? There's two separate things. Wait, right? what's right. undead's bane? Deep Mind of these like okay, so My brain went to too much Holy water, water, right? Holy water. water. Mr. Kiltong. Yeah, but we but. finishing touch must be sung. Wolf's tooth Maybe undead. we just have to sing it. I'm drinking this potion that <laughs> she's drinking no. a potion. Oh, yeah, it tastes yeah. like a potion that <laughs> she's drinking a potion. Oh, Wait, the song was it? Disgusting. This potion is foul. I'm pretty sure we put some wrong ingredients in there because it made me want to puke just a little bit. Uh, game might to wench from stone. Uh, to, uh, by mixing dust of funny, funny bone. bone. The sorrow of a f uh, fiery beast. The sorrow is uh, dragon's, dragon's tears. tears. As we're pouring through these various uh, potion elements, I immediately remember that one of the spells we have on the table immediately relates to making something holy or blessed. Oh, here we go. I got it. I got it for the for the holy what? water. Sorry, uh, it's part of the spells for it. That's. Um, I'm so oh, oh, oh. Change water into something blessed is a simple task. Do not feel pressed. Simply raise the bottle to a light and chant. Where do you have, where do you have the light? Oh, there. Of course it's Matt who figures out that you have to bless the holy water. Right there! The light! Light! Right now, here! Right now! Bendictus Aquaticus. <laughs> Speak for yourself, brother. I love how exasperated he was in blessing it. He's like, oh. I blessed this holy water, it is now holy. All right, let's, can we move this along? Let's see, shall see. All right. All right. Like, I want, I want Matt to be my priest all the time. Okay, wait, so that, now what's next, what's next? Uh, what essence of a spider's hey. feast. That was the coagulated blood. There you go. I'm gonna add a little bit of the ink here as well. Go, go, go. Thought brains. Uh, a touch of something sweet for taste. That's gonna peppermint. be the uh, peppermint, vinegar. Now sing it and drink it, Matt. Well, well, no, we have to put the uh, the ground vocal cords in there. Doesn't say yeah, yeah. anything about hey. drinking it. I just want to say that just out loud. Like I, I don't know if you're. It yeah, but he likes it. That's his thing. Okay. All right, mix that up. That is disgusting. Yeah. yeah. We're pretty sure put all the pieces together for this potion. We've uh, got the holy water functional but no for thingy. us. No But something isn't working still. No matter how hard we try, <laughs> and we do it, it's not working. 
Thankfully, Marisha finds a note. Word. Oh. In magic, it's not the song that matters, but the purity of the singing. Oh, well, uh, well geez, sorry. Fucked. Sorry. I take responsibility for this failure. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that for all the dread and disappointment I was feeling in myself through all that puzzle, oh, I'm literally oh, thank you. for the love of God. Being able to finally finish that potion, reach over and pull that sword from the stone was a moment of vindication. He's so strong, that Matthew Mercer. What does it okay. say? What does it say? It has, uh, the sword doesn't say anything. I just start wandering around the room, searching little things that maybe haven't been discovered yet. It has two notches on <laughs> it. Ah, ah, it oh and I found a little scroll that was hidden up on one of the shelves. Because he's tall and he can do that. At least I can contribute that way. Travis oh, is tall. Of course Travis, Travis is, is tall, tall Travis guy. is tall. Diminsky. Well, this doesn't make any sense. In -nim yep. It's a, uh, I think it's an order. It's like coffee. So I realize there's probably more spelled things like that on the other bookshelf, so I start climbing on the furniture <laughs> to try to find it. That's okay, right? I remember in my tinkering and like searching the walls with my fingertips. Hey, you know, there's a little slit in that gold dragon's mouth. A perfect <laughs> sword-sized slot. And so I said, put the sword in the mouth. Uh -huh. I'm so short. Which he did. And nothing happened. Let's see. So turn it. The sword goes in there. Can you turn it? Can you turn the sword? Oh, ah. And then he turned it. Oh, oh no, yeah, what's up? Oh, He's got a one happening? and a scroll. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, and I've got these words. Okay, maybe these are all parts of a... Um... A spell? All right. Uh... All right, we've got these two fantastic words here. Is this the hourglass? This one came up from the top of the shelf. Ah, uh, we need to find the hourglass. Uh, what about, what is this? And, lo and behold... Yep, scroll. I find the magical hourglass. I found it! The spell oh, phrase is under my nose. Now all I must Another do is decode it. There it to is. To shout it to the either. Oh, Wait, God, that's great. It. I gotta decode oh, this. Jesus, this. It looks so like it's upside down. down. I know we're in trouble. We don't have a lot of time. What the hell? I haven't seen these symbols before, though. <laughs> when the hourglass puzzle finally came about, I knew this was a challenge that I had to that I had to seek out. All right, let's work on the bonus puzzle, Travis. I start looking in the nooks and crannies, and one of the baseboards, I find a note. There's another scroll here. That tells us that we have to cast a spell with the one that we found. Good times. OK, you do no that. No wizard is complete without their wand. Magical amulet and book of spells. Looking around, I see that we have the wand, we have the spell book, we don't have the amulet, and I'm trying to think where that could possibly be. Where's the magical spells? Amulet? All right, and there's a magical amulet. Looking for a magical amulet. Look for a magic amulet? Yes, a magic amulet. Bonus puzzle mm -hmm. is just these scrambled up words, and then there were all these little glyphs that you had to interpret. Oh, what has my life become? Where's the necklace? I glance over and start looking through some of the potion materials in the shelf, and I can see this nice little square sticking out at the top of one of the large vase type structures. <laughs> oh, is this an amulet? Yes, the amulet. We got it. All right, so okay. amulet. Wait, and the book of spells. Book of spells. Okay, now what? Hey, you're good with these. So once we have everything finally put together for this, I put it all on, have my big Harry Potter moment. In veritum illuminatus. For each moment of this, there's that little pause and hoping that something happens. And more often than not, it doesn't, and you get kind of sad. I don't know what that did. Then there was that awkward pause. Oh! In the moment that the black light hits and all the uh, the lines of arcane energy hit the wall, Wait, oh, look, 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 over here. Look. Oh, that is probably one of the coolest moments that we have got to experience. Look, there's there's rooms oh, over here. Oh, good, okay, lit lines appear on the back Holy wall, shit. and there are they're connected to runes on one side, and they're connected to a shelf with all of these different items on the right side. And luckily, as soon as that one lit up. We all kind of knew. We knew what was going on with that one. Fire. Okay, yeah, so each fire. of these corresponds to one well, of these I missed something here. I turn around and there's like disco lights on the wall and so much has happened. Matt's wearing an amulet and I don't even have a clue of what's, what's happened in the last five minutes. I'll follow this line. Oh God. So you follow the lines. Okay, okay I'll, go, I'll take the second one. I got, I got this one. And so we start trying to find which line connects to which item? Travis takes one of the lines, and Marisha takes one of the lines, so I take one of the lines, and we're all tracing and following each other around. While not colliding with each other. It's very strange. Number one is the feather. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get the sheet and write off. Matt, okay. yours is going to the this. The third one right down is this cat. We rocked that one pretty hardcore. Fuck the potion puzzle. I gotta say, everyone kind of fell into place very quickly on that. I was very excited. Fuck the potion puzzle. Blacklight puzzle, though. Yeah, yeah. We're all, all about that. So you're the first one, Tim Marmot. Yeah. These don't correspond. One, two, three. Okay. Maybe we should write the symbol. I'm wondering if we yeah. could just. Hey, guys, I've almost got this. Okay, uh, what is it? I'm, I, time? Time, what's this one? Uh, time something, something focus, balance, what are these? Uh, um, we have, we have it's like a, like oh, a diamond with legs. Arcana. 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 Oh. Uh, 
Okay. That's an R then. R. 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 Order. And the order is what? Well. Uh, and then okay. okay. Time, Arcana, order, focus, balance. balance. Philosophy. 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 And then there's there's this. Oh okay. God. Go to the next one. Um, okay. Uh, so eight, four, five, six. As I'm starting to figure out that each of these items have an individual number. So what do those correspond well, to? Oh, right here. Look, 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 look. I'm realizing the table across the way from it also had all these correlating numbers. Here they are. Here they are. Put them in order. What's this? The order they should be in? Put them in order. Oh, 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 they show oh, oh. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. The yes, cat yes. is number three. At first, I thought they might be related to the tarot cards. Glad I didn't go that far. Then why? This. This is two? Yeah. At this point, we're not sure quite how far along we are, and you know if this extra story is going to come to fruition. Wait, four. Four is the rock. The cup is the W with four the line. Four is the rock. Five. We get all these pieces, and we put them on the table in the proper sections where the Roman numerals on the wall said so that they were supposed to be placed. Number one is the feather. Number two is the matches. Number three is the cat. Four is rock. Five is chalice. Six well, is the last. The thing. bell. The bell. Once again, that awkward, tense moment hits, and I hear that. Click. Okay. Oh, hear that click? Ah! Inside, there's a little scroll. <laughs> Laura, of course, being the scroll hoarder, yanks it up. I'm a greedy code clue finder. And I had a habit of grabbing the little golden blankets they were all placed on, like shaking it out, because you never know. These rooms are tricky, bastard sorcerer. You guys are gonna <laughs> go, Kirk. Go, Kirk. Conjoin be arranged in. Whoa, that just got really bright over there. Once um, per soul, chant the spell until the evil sound is death now. This was. Probably the final spell to finally banish this dark sorcerer and complete this puzzle. I hope. Once per soul, chant the spell and sleep will sound its death knell. Do we have a banishing spell in here? Exteriores? Okay, I've got the spell. What is it? Say out loud. Solve the puzzle. Of course. I mean, I knew I would. Cronus Aditio! Boom, we've got five more minutes. Yeah, Chris! I mean, I think I pretty much saved the game. That's off to him, man. Oh, he he yes. has proven himself to be a very important member of his team in spite of his own thoughts. Uh, 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 oh, good. Then you can see which one is the top and the bottom. Read them all together. What we're that? wanting to do. Wait, what's each, the top one? What's the top one? This one here. Here, you want Dim, one? I don't, I'm not good at gibberish either. Inimicum. I could never be Naomin Tenebros. We have this spell that we've arranged geometrically banded together. Exteriores. Well, nothing happens. The dread sinks deeper. What okay. does it say to do? To it's banish to evil, something. conjoined to be arranged in banded geometry. Oh, arranged in banded geometry. Once for soul, chant the spell. We all have to do it in oh, order. We all have to say so it you order. did it now. Marisha, go. And we all start saying the spell. Diministi eminicum. We even have our wand out. We don't care if it works. Meum in tenebras. We say the lines. Exteriores. Dimisisti inicum. Meum in tenebras. Exteriores. And. Nothing. <laughs> oh, we I got some flickering lights. Shit, do we? I know we have the spell in all the right pieces for it. I just don't think we're doing it right. I'm completely confused because I've spent so much time trying to solve the additional puzzle. Were we supposed to be in banded geometry? What does that mean in geometry? I don't honestly know what's happening right now. Like, it is completely confusing to me. Oh, yeah, banded geometry, I would imagine, would be putting them together, but. Conjoined to be arranged in banded geometry. Conjoined banded. to be arranged in Oh, do we need to do we need to, to repair this? Oh, oh, there's a restoration. Oh, right, 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 where is it? Where oh, is no. it? So we're at this final moment, we have everything assembled. Ah! Spell, 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 oh, that's a, that's a spell spell the wand, though, isn't it? We're, we're nowhere on the cusp of finally winning this, and we hear this creak behind us, and we're like, did we do it? Yeah. Magical uh, mending, magical uh, mending, to uh, restore uh, your wand. Hey, how's it going? And it's Janet, with an expression that could only say, your puppy died, or you lost the room. Does this expression say, you did it? She kind of like faked us out. I was like, we did it. Maybe she was the evil sorcerer the whole time. Uh, oh, no! No! Oh, my God. Did we fail? Janet coming in the room was kind of the same feeling I have when Janet comes into the room usually, which is kind of depressing. Time's out. If it was an option to kick her out of the room, I might have and maybe held the door closed, hoping for some more time, but apparently that's not a thing. The so evil close. sorcerer still reigns. <laughs> uh, That's cool. Evil's not that bad. Magic exists. Yeah. No, but seriously, I kind of want to live here. Yeah, what are, they, what are they doing with the set? <laughs> <laughs> nope, still not We failed. Guys, come back in. Okay. Here. Because you did such a great... Okay, just go, go. Hello everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. 
that one. Uh, before we jump into our session tonight, we do have some announcements to get through, uh, beginning with our, our first sponsor, which is not on my paper here. Uh, Sam, go ahead and take it away. Uh, hang on, I'll come back to that because I actually missed the the first bit of that of the ads. Now I think of it. When okay. I don't like it. I don't know why I keep adding cap uh, 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 capitals where there shouldn't be. No, don't need that. Okay, now capital. Sorry about this. Uh, Not the okay, that's on there. Not sure how many people believe. Oh, no, I'll end this with a sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Only people with living characters may That's horrible. Just gotta push it. Push. Push. <laughs> 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 
Don't, we don't have to. Okay. <laughs> What's up, players? It's MC Adverbot here oh. to rap at you about our dope friends at oh. Shopify. But first, I need a sick beat. Yo, fly honey, commence beatboxing. Uh, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> MC Adverbot must have a sick four on the floor rhythm dropped in order to advertise, preferably dropped like it's hot. Begin your drop block rockin' beats. I, I, I don't really do that. I'm, I'm not even supposed to be here tonight. I, I understand. So MC Adverbot cannot rap. <laughs> Shopify will be displeased. My existence was for nothing. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm. I'm sorry, MC Adverb Bot. I'll. I'll okay, do it. I'll, I'll be really. One more Sweet. Minute, and then I drop to... that motherfucker. Me. <laughs> be embarrassing. It's <laughs> cute. <laughs> Stop. Stop. That's it. I. I. I told you I'm not good at. I that. mean, I didn't think you would be that bad. <laughs> I was expecting a deafening beat to accompany my tongue-twisting rhymes, but that was very, very bad. Okay, well, you're the one who Forget asked. Forget it, MC Adverbot will rap a cappella. fuck? <clears throat> <laughs> Shopify makes it simple to sell anywhere to anyone, whether oh, you're no. selling ham or not. Okay, I've had, I've had enough. Thank you for joining me. This is Free Night Half Elven YouTuber. I wish the good fortune, the quest of life. <laughs>